Hey everybody, this is Julian. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Thursday's check-in. And by the way, I am filming on my new camera because my camera ended up having a situation, an accident on my last day in Zanzibar in Tanzania. So I had to get a new camera. So I think you've seen last week Thursday's check-in in Las Vegas and that was on my new camera. So give this video a big thumbs up like comment subscribe if you're new i'm really happy to be home and can you guys believe it i'm wearing a long sleeve because it's kind of on the gloomy side so i can get away with either wearing a tank top or a long sleeve but i wanted to be comfy out here and hang out on the main channel with you guys and share with you what's been going on since my last thursday's check-in i am back in las vegas in a few days so i'm just home in santa monica for five days basically to take care of the collection and to also vend three different markets so by the time this video goes live everyone wants to come out so we'll let her out come out baby hi honey you want to say hi to the channel come here so by the time this video goes live come here honey come mommy come sit on mommy come here come you want to say hi to everybody that you're happy to be back in santa monica here's ebby I missed you baby I did and we went to the beach yesterday we'll try to go again later today okay she's so good so I'm happy to be back Abby's happy to be back but literally I'm only home for five days and out of the five days I will be vending three of the days so by the time this video goes live on Thursday I will be at a new market for myself it's a farmer's market about two and a half miles up the street from me in Westwood I've never been there before so I don't know what to expect you want to go back in the house babe it's up to you if you want to go in or not okay so I'm looking forward to that it's not very long it's from 12 to 5 it is free so if you are on the west side or in Los Angeles this week and you want to see the shop and meet me I don't know if I can bring Ebby or not because it's a farmer's market but I assume people will be walking their dogs that live in the area and walking through the market so I need to check on that if she can come with me or not but I want to go ahead and check it out I had to apply for this day like I don't know I put in my application three months ago and I finally heard back from them and this was like the only market I ever had to pay to apply and then this one they take a percentage of my sales so we'll see how it goes and what the foot traffic is like again when it comes to any kind of pop-up and market I have to go there several times over a course of weeks or months to see uh, the vibe of the market what kind of people come through and if it's worth my time or if I should just work from home and forget that market or maybe put it in rotation every other month which is what I do for some of my markets that are slower on like money wise so we'll see so give this video a big thumbs up for putting myself out there to finally getting approved to get into this farmers market I know it's small and intimate and in that area in Westwood you have UCLA so a lot of students and then people who work in that area where the street is blocked off so I'm, I'm not expecting much but I'm really happy to be able to get in and to experience it for myself and then I can make the decision in the future if I want to put this Thursday market in rotation when I'm here on Thursdays because I'm only here half of the Thursdays of the month and then the other half of the Thursdays I'm in Las Vegas so if anything I could do this market twice a month and I think that's fair so that's this Thursday which is today when this video goes live this Saturday and Sunday which I know I announced in previous Thursday's check-in I will be in Los Feliz Feliz so that's out like 20 something miles for me I've been doing that market I believe since December November December I believe and I was really into doing that Saturday market in the beginning and then once I seen like sales decline I stopped going there and now I'm going once every other month so I last was there two months ago and before that two months prior to that so we'll see how it goes because it's like I have to be there so early when it comes to any market to set up and then stay there all day and then break down so it literally if I do any market it takes up my whole day so if I'm not making a lot of profit then I'd rather just be at home edit make art and do stuff online for my business than sitting at a market which you guys know if you watch the vlog channel I am working while I'm at the market creating my art there 
So I'm always using my time very efficiently. I'm not just sitting there looking bored. So that is this Saturday. And then Sunday is the big Rose Bowl flea market. I'm so excited that I'm finally a permanent vendor. And I feel like I definitely earned it because this past three months, going in, paying double the amount and getting in four hours after market opens is very stressful. And especially with my artwork, it takes me two hours to set up because I have such little things and it's just me setting up. And I have to take my time because they're little and they're tiny and fragile and I can't like manhandle. It's not like t-shirts or jackets or jeans where I can just dump it on the table and like call it a day. So I'm looking forward to be able to go at four in the morning. So I should be able hopefully to be set up I would say by 7 a.m., 6.30, 7 a.m. So if you are planning on coming to the Rose Bowl this Sunday, and my permanent spot is in the arts and crafts section, and if you enter the Rose Bowl flea market and you hang a right, you will eventually see me when you hang that right, and I'll be on the right-hand side, and that is my permanent spot. And I paid for that spot, I think all the way up until January. So if I'm traveling or working in Las Vegas, and I only can do one market day, it's going to be the Rose Bowl because that is where I make the most money and there's the most foot traffic. It is the biggest market in my part of the world. So I always will choose the Rose Bowl first. And I'm looking forward to seeing how that permanent spot is and what the sun is going to be like throughout each month because when the sun hits my art, resin do get bendy but it won't melt. So that's kind of just something that I always have to like take notice of is when the sun is shifting and moving and then I have to pull my tables in or out so that is my work week for my small business I want to share with you guys I've been like really making a lot of art I have keychains I have more keychains sitting in my mold that I just did the back layer too so if you guys um, are interested in any of my keychains I have so many I'm creating cute botanical magnets these are some of them that I will be setting up they're so cute and I also have them in the moon shape as well. And every time I pour, I try to at least pour into these molds because they're so tiny and they take two pours for me to finish. And I just love having them with like my monster magnets and my cactus magnets. So these are like my latest things that I'm doing. But yes, I'll be having more keychain letters for sale and stars. Those are really popular. And then this afternoon when i am back from having lunch with my old co-worker who i haven't seen for a couple of years that we used to work at the gym and do trades when i come home today which is the day before market day what am i going to be doing setting up all of these earrings so i have tons and tons and tons of earrings and i will be setting them up from studs to monstera earrings and everything in between and these are going to be up for sale this weekend so if you have been interested in any of my art pieces, small or large, I'm always creating art whenever I'm in Santa Monica. I always make it a point to pour into my molds so that when I do have my market days, I always have something to do and there's always new things added onto the booth. And you just never know how long my things stick around. Sometimes they get sold right away. Sometimes they stay with me until the right person comes along and it finds its new owner. So, this is going to be keeping me really busy and the day before market day i'm always like trying to set up things because i want to be able to photograph them for my resin instagram account before i put them out in the shop pick up my evening for sure for the rest of the day now i want to share with you my latest sun catchers that i made yesterday and i haven't made any art i swear for i think maybe five weeks and it was nice to come back from traveling and creating art because I was itching to create art now that I have so many blooms. I'm share with you the beautiful night blooming cactus. And I decided to do one with a clear background. And then last year I created one similar like this and I wanted to redo it again. It has sold like for quite some time now. So here I am redeeming myself and making another one. So these are gonna be turned into sun catchers if you guys are interested. And then my other newest pieces, which I'm finally creating, is something with my Hoya blooms in it. So this one I'm going to turn into a sun catcher as well. There's three different types of ferns in here, my Bella and my Compact in here, along with my Cressula Ovada 
and three different types of ferns. So this one is going to be turned into a sun catcher. And then I also created another plumeria heart. And I think I'm going to probably create a plumeria moon, I'm thinking. And then my newest monstera, I'm going to ch change this one also into a sun catcher. So that's the newest pieces that I just made yesterday. I will be sitting at the market today when this video goes live, setting these up into sun catchers. So if you're interested in purchasing any of my art, I still also have my begonia moon as well. I have a lot of things just sitting and waiting for me to put together. I will get them up in the shop ready for Rose Bowl. And I will also share with you on next week Thursday's check-in if it doesn't get sold what they look like set up and these are all up for sale looking for a new home and before I wrap up today's video and this is another reason why I wanted to film Thursday's check-in in Santa Monica this week because next week you'll see me back in Las Vegas and we'll do a Thursday check-in there at the new house I came home to I can't believe it and I really stressed out about traveling to East Africa and then being in Las Vegas so I haven't really been home so I've been worried about the collection a lot but for the most part I mean they are okay I mean of course I do have a few plants that are not happy with my new lifestyle and my schedule which is really hard because my life is so different from when I started this collection a couple of years ago I'm not really home anymore but I want to share with you my beautiful pink princess philodendron update and I am so happy to see this beautiful pink unfurled leaf. I honestly was so nervous when I purchased the plant right before traveling and I was thinking about this plant the whole time I was gone. So I'm happy to share on the channel that it finally gave me a new beautiful leaf while I was away and an all pink leaf. Super special. I'm going to photograph this and I'll probably have it maybe printed and framed maybe for my Las Vegas room and then like I said in the previous video when I shared this plant like the person who sold me the plant kept these two sections of the plant on when the leaf is pretty much non-existent so I'm gonna take this and this off now that I see this unfurled leaf and if you look here another leaf is about to open up so I'm happy to report that but I do want to switch this over into a soil mixture because as you see, it's in some kind of, I don't know. I don't know what kind of medium this is, but I don't know. I think I'm going to restake it into soil and have it staked up on a coco coir pole to help it grow. Comment down below if you think I should do that now or if I should wait. And there's a few other plants in my collection that I need to restake because they grew past the coco coir pro and i think i have another size that's larger that i can restake it so maybe i can do a planting with julian this week before market weekend and before i go back to las vegas we'll see but when i'm back from las vegas i'll have like two weeks in santa monica for the rest of the month to focus on the collection and to sell my art as i gear up for another trip which i'll talk about in a second and before i wrap up today's video i want to give a shout out to my plant friends sonia and tanya and we'll go to the other container because it's really big and heavy but i decided to bring this one out because it's more manageable for me to bring it here but in here is a bunch of euphorbia blooms and they're all dried and ready to be put into my art so I want to give a big shout out to Sonia. She worked really hard getting these blooms from her big mother plant and drying them really nicely. So I want to thank her for that. And I let's go to see Tanya's blooms because right before I went to Las Vegas, her night blooming cactus had like they just came all at once and I'm unfortunately the day after I went to Las Vegas I think two more days of blooming so I wasn't able to save those but I do have a bunch now nicely dried and I'll share with you how I'm storing them and the thing with my small business and preserving these blooms is that you need containers for silica gel when they're stored you need containers for your blooms or whatever you dried with silica gel to keep them stored so I have like 
20 something containers in my studio uh, for drying or having my blooms dried, stored. So this takes up a lot of space and, and it's very time consuming to be able to want one have them all dried neatly and nicely and stored and then having your silica gel always charge so that if something comes through my collection i don't have to worry i can just grab the blooms and dry them and there is a few blooms that i want to take today but i was waiting to film thursday's check-in to share with you guys before i harvest them but let's go to the blooms dried and then i'll share with you my hoya blooms that are currently uh blooming for me which i'm super excited about and then we'll talk about where i'm going next right, month so here are the blooms that just opened up maybe about two weeks ago there's i think 11 that i was able to harvest and they're all in here dried and i'm really happy that they turned out perfect i will be putting this into my art pieces along with my blooms and my other plant friends blooms but yes i'm so happy about this and how it turned out because it sat under silica gel while i was in las vegas for the work week so a big uh plant hug to my plant friend tanya for these beautiful okay, next stop i want to share with you the status of my hoya bella and as you see there is tons of blooms and i will be taking them once i'm done filming this video and drying them and storing them with the rest of my Hoya blooms, they're so pretty. So it's been producing for me while I've been away. So that's a very fun update on this mother plant. Right, status on my Hoya compacta blooms. They're still giving me blooms. It, it started in July, it's now September, and it's still producing. And there's so many in different stages. Take a look. So I'm happy to report that it's still giving me blooms and i'm just like i'm very careful when it comes to this plant because of the size of the plant and then just like take a look at that so we have more blooms here and tucked in here so i'm thinking these will come maybe in a month but i'm happy to report that it's still giving me blooms and you know the blooms started to pop up for me in July if you guys watch the vlog channel. Here we are, I believe this is a Hoya Carnosa Crimson Princess. I believe it's a Crimson Princess and this finally, take a look at this, bloomed for me and it just opened up this morning. It's slowly opening up for me, look at that, it is just absolutely perfect. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited because this plant has been with me in my collection for several years and it finally decided to bloom for me this year which it couldn't have come in a better time because of my small business. So these mean the world to me. I'm like really, I'm so happy. And they just started to open up this morning. I was wondering when they were going to come. So this is the latest on some of my hoyas and their beautiful blooms all right you guys that is gonna wrap up thursday's check-in i think that was a good thursday's check-in you got to see what's currently happening in the collection with my beautiful pink princess philodendron so many plants that are giving me new unfurled leaves and after this video i will be filming pot of fame but you won't see it till maybe a month and a half from now I'm thinking because I pre-filmed a lot of my videos in July because I wasn't going to be planning on filming anything for the month of August because I was working in Las Vegas and traveling in Tanzania so right now what you see on Mondays on this channel has been filmed back in July and eventually you will see what I'm filming now once the July content that I film all the planting with Julens that you're gonna see about to see has been filmed in July and then I didn't really film anything for August so soon after that you will see up to current date what I am filming for the main channel so yes I'll be filming Pot of Fame after this video and you'll get to see what's been currently happening in the collection which is also interesting to share because I haven't really been here in August and I still like got a lot of progress in the collection with growth so i'm happy about that and you get to see the things that i'm currently drying and my latest art pieces and then my hoya blooms like really i just like they're so 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 special to me and with my art skill they will last a lifetime and they'll be admired not only 
from me and the channel but whoever purchased my art so if you are in Southern California and can make it down to any of my pop-ups feel free to come on down uh, for the most part well the today's market Thursday and this Saturday's market is free Saturday market is dog friendly Rose Bowl is not friendly with dogs and you have to pay to get in if you go if you come to the market before 9 it's $20 to get in and believe me people are there at 5 a.m. paying $20 to one avoid the crowd you get to see all the vendors first thing in the morning and then the heat and then parking is also a problem and if you come in at 9 or later then you pay ten dollars and the market starts shutting down around 2 2 30 3 o'clock so please come on down if you're in the area i would love to meet you you get to see the art and i get to meet you and i am looking forward to wrapping up my next vegas work week which is coming up and then i can just be back in santa monica for the rest of the month to focus on my small business and ben and the collection and plan for my next trip so this is where i now lead into that segment of the, today's video i am going to be traveling international again and if you have been watching the channels i had a friend here my romanian friend she did the pilates program that i did she finished it, the program and then i started the program so that is how i know her she's married with a little baby and she was my only friend here in Los Angeles and she left her Los Angeles home just a few months ago and I told her that I would love to visit her uh, no matter where she is in the world. She splits her time between Costa Rica, they have a hotel there, they have a penthouse in Ibiza now and then they have their house still in Romania. So I told her wherever you are I'm going to come and visit you before the year ends. So I'm keeping my promise and I'm going to visit her in Ibiza next month and I'll be there for a whole week. I found a hotel right on the beach in her neighborhood. I don't have a sea view or anything, but I'm okay with that because I'm gonna be spending a lot more money on my next country right after that, which is Greece. So I will be going to Athens just for like a day and a half to see the Acropolis, eat my way through the city. I would maybe like to try to get to the gardens there to film for the main channel. So comment down below if you guys would be interested in that. I think they have a botanical garden there that's super popular. So if I can make it there and see what I want to see with everything else for the whole full day in Athens, I would like to do that. And then I will be catching a ferry to Mykonos. And then I will be catching another ferry from Mykonos to Santorini. And then a plane back to Athens and then I'll come back to LA. So that is my plan for next month. So it'll be just like August, my schedule for October where I'm not really here in Santa Monica because I will be in Las Vegas the beginning and ending of the month for Halloween weekend and in between that I will be in Spain and Greece so I will be island hopping again I'm going during shoulder season so there won't be as big of a crowd sure some things will be closed in Mykonos and Santorini and Ibiza but some places will still be open and the weather will still be decent and the prices for things maybe might not be as expensive i am going to be staying in a nice accommodation in mykonos well i have my own private room but i won't have the beautiful like ocean like sea view right outside of my door but it's still a nice place and i read the reviews the owners of the boutique is boutique hotel is super nice and i'm going to be able to get picked up from the ferry stop and taken to my accommodations as part of me staying there so that's really nice but i will be spending my money on staying right on the edge of the caldera in santorini where i'm going to be staying staying one night in Fera. i think i'm pronouncing that correct and in ia which is up north i will be spending my last two nights up in ia where they're known to have nice sunsets but i know a lot of people who visit santorini book places up in ia up north for that gorgeous sunset and you don't really get to see the sunset because of how the accommodations are blocking the view but i will be staying right on the edge of the caldera and i'm looking forward to exploring my way through at least two of the greek islands i know i wanted to go to milos and i had to pick and choose but i've always wanted to go to mykonos and santorini which i feel like everybody who wants to go to greek islands wants to go to those two islands so 
this is my chance to do it and I will be filming for the vlog channel travel with Julian so by the time I think I am going to Ibiza and Greek islands you will probably see travel with Julian Tanzania because right now both channels are in July content and that's just the way how things are because I daily vlog for the vlog channel my vlog channel will naturally fall behind if two days Monday and Thursday is for the main channel so that's kind of where I stand right now with both of the channels but you guys still get daily videos I will work hard again to edit as much as I can so that while I'm traveling next month uh, to Ibiza and the Greek islands you still will get daily uploads like how when I was away in Tanzania I worked really hard so you guys could get daily uploads while I traveled abroad and filmed for the vlog channel so that is my huge announcement and if I can come across some kind of plant shop or something in Athens I would love to go there and share with you what's happening at least in one part of plant life for Athens a plant shop or two we'll see because I basically only have one full day in Athens and I you know I plan on being at the Acropolis 8 a.m. when they open up and I think I have a flat I'm like basic accommodations I am going cheap in Athens because I'm only there for one full day and I'm gonna be out sightseeing so I booked a room in a host's flat where I am a 10 minute walk from the Acropolis so I'm going budget friendly there and then spending a little bit more when I'm in Santorini to be right on the caldera to get that epic Santorini where you see on Instagram and on Google and all of that like I just can't wait I've been like honestly when I was a little girl I said that I was gonna get married on Santorini Island and have a destination wedding and I'm still single I don't have a boyfriend so I'm taking myself to Santorini and I'm like looking forward to eating my way through well of course Ibiza and I'm looking forward to seeing my friend and seeing the baby because she's older now and I plan on also linking up with another content creator who's been living in Ibiza for 11 years so when I'm not with my friend I'll try to meet up with him and if he can take me somewhere cool or whatever for the vlog channel that'll be awesome and then I'll eat my way through Athens, Mykonos and Santorini and Mykonos and Santorini I have to book things in advance when it comes to restaurants or if there's any day clubs that are still open I have to book these things in advance because if I don't then I lose the opportunity to go there and experience these places for myself but I'll try as much as I can to film for the vlog channel because I know it was really hard like when I was in Tanzania I was on four hours of sleep every night so I don't know because I haven't gone through the content yet how much I filmed but I did take my drone with me so I'm looking forward to sharing some of the epic shots that I got in Zanzibar I wasn't able to fly my drone in any of the national parks so on mainland Tanzania I think I only flew my drone up in one of the villages where I got my African skirt outfit which I really really love but I see content creators flying their drones in Ibiza and Greek islands so I'm taking my drone which I'm super excited about to get some epic shots but that is going to wrap up Thursday's check-in I shared a lot you guys got to see a lot hopefully you guys enjoyed catching up with me and seeing what I'm up to and what my plans are for this week with my small business and I'll come back here on Thursday next week Thursday from Las Vegas and I'm going to try to bring more plants because I had to pull some of my house plants that were in my Las Vegas room because they were just not happy and I brought over a big Opuntia this past week which you'll see next week Thursday's check-in and I think I'm going to take some of my sense of areas with me when I go back this week because they're just getting trashed by the tree out here and it's just so heartbreaking to see them get trashed from the tree because if you guys watched the vlog channel back in July I had a yard guy randomly come here and he did take care of a huge section of the tree but the pines still fall the bougainvillea still fall I'm, I'm still getting trash like on this collection in the patio and it just breaks my plant heart because I can be out here all day and then the next day like it looks like I didn't even clean so you guys already know how frustrated I am with the tree but I love to be able to have everything I have outside including my fountain because I have the space so I think I'm gonna take a couple of sense of areas maybe four or five of them with me this time around and I'll share with you that phase for 
maybe next week Thursday's check-in. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Subscribe for daily uploads between the main channel and the vlog channel. You get a video each and every day. And stick around because I am going to be sharing as much as I can with you up until I leave on my next trip. And I will make another announcement next week thursday from las vegas where i will be going in november until then i will see you soon i'm signing off here from santa monica collection and all of my hoyas bye guys